students, I am Rashmi. Welcome to SRS Info. In the last class, we had an introduction of health education and community pharmacy. Today, we will continue with the concept of health. So, first we have to understand what is the definition of health. Health is defined as a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being. Okay. And it is not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. So health is not the condition where there is an absence of disease or infirmity. What is infirmity? Infirmity is physical or mental weakness. So health is not a condition of absence of disease or infirmity. But it is a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being. Okay. And health is the ability to lead a socially and economically productive life. If the person is not healthy, he cannot contribute to the social and economic development. Okay. Now, look at the statement that is the state of complete physical, mental and social well-being. So that the health has different dimensions. So, what are the dimensions of health? Physical, mental social and spiritual these are the dimensions of health now let us look into detail about these dimensions the first one is physical health so what is physical health physical health means the normal functioning and growth of all parts of the body and also the body as a whole the body should function normally and the body should grow normally how the growth of all parts and the body as a whole. In many cases, you can see that the height is very less. Sometimes the head is grow in an abnormal way. So the growth of all parts of the body and the growth of the body as a whole. Both these are very important in case of physical health. And what are the indications of physical health? Good complexion, clean skin, sweet breath good appetite, sound sleep, etc. are some of the indications of physical health. The next one, mental health. What is mental health? Mental health is the ability of an individual to adjust with the surrounding world and society such that he lives harmoniously with others and not just the absence of mental illness. Again, mental health does not mean that the absence of mental illness. It means the ability of an individual to adjust with the surrounding world and society. What are the characteristics of mental health? The most important one is self-satisfaction. What is self-satisfaction? The person is satisfied with himself with no inner conflict. It seems to be satisfied but sometimes we are not satisfied with ourselves. So, if the person is satisfied with himself, his actions, his works, his profession, his family, without any inner conflict, that is we can call it as self-satisfaction. The next one is adjustment. The person adjusts with others and accepts their criticism. If the person has a quality or the ability to adjust with others, and it is a natural way of adjustment. It's not artificial adjustment. You know? If the person has such an ability and efficiency to adjust with others and at the same time to accept the criticism. Accepting criticism is a productive method, productive way of self-improvement. We can otherwise it is called as adjustment. You know, recently we celebrated the International Day of Tolerance. Do you know what was the theme of International Day of Tolerance of 2020? The theme was very interesting. Tolerance is acceptance, respect and appreciation of world cultures. This was the theme this year. It was celebrated in November 16. This was the theme of International Tolerance Day 2020. Next is self-control. The person has a good self-control and does not have anger, fear, jealousy, worries, etc. It does not mean that a person cannot be anger throughout his life. It does not mean like that. It means extreme anger, extreme fear, unnecessary and unwanted fear, and unhealthy jealousy and unwanted worries. 
all these things deviate you from your self-control so within the limited thing and we have to manage our regular life in a healthy way in that limit if we can control or move with the emotions then it is healthy so these are the main characteristics of mental health self-satisfaction adjustment self-control okay next is social health social health can be defined as the ability of an individual to adjust with the society okay the same adjustment natural way of adjustment or interaction or natural way of improving the productivity of our life in a socially healthy way this is what we can call it as social health and what are the characteristics of social health possession of social skills the development of social skills is very important and proper social functioning within the community if we regular interact with our community in a positive and a productive way we can have the ability of oneself to see as a member of the society okay so the proper social functioning leads to disability so these are the characteristics of social health okay and the last one is spiritual health so this is also very important spiritual health involves both physiology and psychology okay spiritual health refers to that part of the individual which reaches out and strives for meaning and purpose in life if a person is spiritually healthy then he can reach out and strives for the meaning and purpose of life this improve the quality discipline and prosperity of our life okay now you understand what is health what is the definition of health and what are the dimensions of health okay this one the most important four dimensions the first one is physical health then mental health third one is social health fourth is spiritual health these are the dimensions of health i hope you understand and enjoy the session thank you